You want to get Light Matica for Minecraft 1.21.4? First things first, go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is the new download page for Light Matica. Um, for the last few versions of Minecraft, for quite a while actually, it has been the download page for Light Matica. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and find the 1.21.4 version. We can go ahead and once we find that version, click on Light Matica Fabric 1.21.4.jar. When we click on that, the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save the file here, but it's 100% safe to do that. And whilst downloading, have a nice from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh to start a 24-hour Minecraft server for you and your friends, where you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and truly customize your server any way that you want, including adding mods like like Matica and using it on the server. On top of that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way with Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Now, we need to download a few more things. Specifically, we need to download Molly Lib. What is this? Well, it's a compatibility mod, a library mod that's required for Lightmatica. It's also linked down below on a similar style download page on GitHub where you want to download this mollylibfabric.jar here. When you click on that, it will open up the downloads folder. We can click save and the download will again begin. Again, safe to download it. You're good to go there. Now, we can go ahead and download Fabric. This is the mod loader that allows Lightmatica and its library mod, Molly Lib, to talk to Minecraft. It basically sits in the middle between the two. To do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That will take you to our in-depth text guide on getting fabric. It goes over everything you need to know. We're going to go over the basics in this video. Go ahead and click download fabric. To go to fabric's official download page, we're going to go ahead and click on the download universal jar here. The reason we're doing that is it'll help you install other Minecraft mods and servers and things like that in the future easier. Now let's go ahead and click on the save file here and the download will begin. Again, may need to keep or save it. And then we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's move all of these files to our desktop. For me, they're going to be in my downloads folder. But for you, they're going to be wherever your files normally download to. Most likely your downloads folder, but it could be your desktop or anywhere else. Now let's move these to our desktop, and we have Molly Lib, we have Lightmatica, and we have the Fabric installer. I'm going to go ahead and close our downloads folder, and we're going to start by installing Fabric here. Go ahead and right-click on the Fabric installer, click Open With, and then click Java. Unless you don't have Java here. Or you do, you click on it, and it doesn't work. In both cases, it's the same solution, and that's getting Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft 1.21 mods like Lightmatica, so you can find it linked down below. And whenever you're here, it goes over everything. It's an in-depth guide, video, and text. You also want to run the jar fix. That's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and get everything installed by right-clicking on Fabric, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and then it'll open up the Fabric installer. Make sure 1.21.4 is selected and Create Profile is checked. If it is, and Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, make sure both those are closed, otherwise this won't work, click Install. From here, everything should be good to go. That is unless you've never played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. If you've never played it before, go ahead, open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be able to install Fabric. Go ahead and click OK, close out of the Fabric installer, and delete it. We don't need it anymore. Now let's get Lightmatica in Minecraft. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and click Installations up at the top. Make sure Mod is checked. If Mod is not checked, the installation won't be there. If you check Modded, there it is. Fabric Loader 1.21.4, but do not play Minecraft with it. If you've got this, go ahead and skip forward 15 seconds or so. But if you don't have Fabric here, what do you do? We'll go ahead and click New Installation. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with or without mods with your friends. Then go ahead and click the Versions drop down box here and select Release Fabric Loader 1.21. 21.4. Once you've got that selected, you're good to go. However, in the bottom right, make sure that launch after install is not checked. If this is checked, it'll launch Minecraft, which is fine. You'll just have to close out of it and then come back here to reinstall or install, excuse me, Lightmatica. But if it's not checked, you can click install. It'll get things ready and you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, now that we have our new SimpleGameHosting.com profile or you had the Fabric Loader 1.21.4 profile, how do you actually install Lightmatica? Well, hover over the profile you created or the one that was there by default and click on the folder icon. In here, you should have a mods folder. But if for whatever reason you don't, go ahead and right click and create a new folder and then title that folder mods, M O D S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open it up and then move Molly Lib, but most importantly, Lightmatica into the mods folder. I say most importantly, both of these have to be here or Lightmatica will not work. Once these are installed, we can confirm they're for 1.21.4 fabric, which they both are. We can close out of the mods folder and play Minecraft using either the fabric installation that was there by default or the one that you created. Once you click play, you're going to have to confirm by clicking play again that you're playing mod in Minecraft. And at this point, Lightmatica is up and running. I'll see you in game to show you everything's working. So here we are in Minecraft. We 
can go ahead and jump into a server or into single player. As long as you own the server, like the one here at Simple Game Hosting, you're perfectly okay to use Lightmatica on a server. If you're in creative, you can even easily copy and paste and do all that stuff. But once you're in-game, the Lightmatica menu can be opened by pressing M on your keyboard. And honestly, from here, it's best to throw you to another video that goes really, really in-depth on using Lightmatica and schematics and loading schematics and making schematics. And like I said, copying and pasting and all of that. And it's all covered in this video in the description down below. It goes over everything you need to know to get everything up and running. As you can see, the comments here are amazingly positive because this is a great video. And I'm confident in saying that on getting you up to speed with Lightmatica and using everything you need to know with it. So instead of tripling the length of this video, let's go ahead, end it here. Watch the video on your screen now, linked in the description down below, if you want to know how to use Lightmatica now that you have it. But we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.